Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you had a good Tuesday in the markets, May 3rd, 2022. We're look at um quick video looking at the TA, Jimmy Flip Bullish, Spy setting up for Powell tomorrow. Uh sub up, like up, comment down, happy money sticks around. We have a Twitter you can follow us on at Happy Money YT, as well as a Discord server. You can throw your trades in and watch them burn. Um, spy, uh, spy that epic bounce yesterday into close, and today it more or less has just stayed pretty flat. A little bit of a rally and kind of just stayed flat. Uh, up eight or 0.8 percent, which is in recent history not a very big move. Um, but we're looking at 45 minutes to go. We'll see if it rips like it did yesterday. Probably not. Really just seems like it's waiting until tomorrow. Pal's on, I think, at 2. See, see what sort of uh, rates, rate hikes we're getting. GameStop flipped around, flipped around bullish today. And we saw it yesterday with that big engulfing hourly candle. But that's a bullish sign for sure. Today, kind of confirmed it. We've got green over the nine. We've got a bullish MACD. Kind of a little bull flag going on here. And I think the 130 bounce, maybe 135 is still in play. And we'll just see see what happens at that point. If it finds resistance and kind of comes back down for some consolidation. Or if it well consolidates and then it comes back down or consolidates to go up. Similar to the range like this. So this could be the next few days on GME and see what happens after that or something like this even. Um, I did some options today. I was scalping a little bit. I got a little greedy, so probably end up giving some back some of the gains. We'll see though. Um, around right here, I did some short calls. They were doing good. Then I was down on them. Since I'm doing six of them and I'm doing at the money, it's a pretty big swing. So best not to look at it. <laughs> uh, but then I waited till here and I should have closed. And then here, my indicators to close, but I, or yeah, then I did actually close it here for a tiny gain. I was like, all right, I'm done. And then come here comes my indicator popping up again. I'm like, all right, I'll just get greedy and jumped in one right here and Jimmy ripped. Um, it was really strange though what happened volume was just shut off for a long time just gaps big many many minutes just with no trades even just gaps in the chart and then right about yeah right about 1240 we start seeing volume come in and just solid price action big block of 53,000 volume there big green candle so not sure if this was uh, FTD covering or insider buying maybe RC uh, I'm not sure Maybe we'll find out after hours, but definitely to give us some price action. Out, outpace the spy, and looks like it's wanting to rally into close. So we'll see. Tuesdays, Tuesdays, sometimes we get the rallies. I don't know if it's from FTDs or what, but um, yeah. I don't think this is necessarily the bottom yet. I uh, I'd like to see a a rally and a resistance, and then maybe a retest to confirm it. But this could be the temporary bottom for now, this 112.75. That might be the, the low for now, I would say. And I think the markets will probably rally tomorrow after PAL. So Jimmy will probably get some of that with it. And now we're flipping back bullish on the five minute. So volume's kind of stayed, as you can see, it was weird. Just had this long lull and then just picked up and volume's kind of stayed up. Uh, I was having a good rally and then got really shorted back down right at that right after two o'clock, right with SPY. It's kind of interesting. It always, today specifically looked like they dumped SPY to bring Jimmy down because this thing was rallying. Um, but maybe it was just covering and now it's, they're just reshorting it back down. I'm not sure. Uh, I have the plays that I did today. Uh, I jumped in a bullish Tesla play, inverse head and shoulders, market rallying potentially tomorrow on PAL. We got bullish MACD on Tesla, put credit spread. Here's my cover call on GME, in, and then got out. 
I shorted some calls on run. They have earnings coming up. I have long calls, so I shorted the ones further out the money, turned it into a debit spread. I'll close those back out once they've lost some value. So this one I made a tiny bit on 420 to 415. And this is the play that I'm kind of stuck in now. This 120, uh, shorted some 120 calls at that spot. Not good. Corsair, what I do? Shorted some calls on Corsair too. They're rallying right now because their earnings, they have earnings run up going on and I've got leaps on Corsair. So did some poor man covered call, more or less on it. Not many days you see Corsair with 6% like that. So I took advantage of that. Um, I've got on the E-Trade, I showed you E-Trade on my Fidelity. This is my Theta Burner or Theta Farmer. So these I'm going to close before, these cover calls I'm going to close before in today. I'm positive on those. those. Those are ones I open up in the morning, about like a 20, uh, 20 delta, and then just let it sit. I'm not like actively trading them like the E-Trade the e ones. As well as this one on Fidelity. So this one I'll also close this 136 call today. So I'll have two exposed, 200 exposed shares in case something crazy goes after hours, as well as a leap. And then potentially I might not close these six cover calls in this E-Trade. It's, it's, uh, it could be some opportunity costs, but I'm gonna close the other ones and then maybe leave these ones on here open since, since I'm down on it. And I don't think that this is, unless there's news after hours again, unless there's some insider buying, but even that like might get a little rally for a bit, but I think we're still, still gonna be trending down, just looking at the dates, dates wise. Trending down until, uh, until we find a support and a rally before earnings. Um, if not that, then a rally before the, the split, a rally at the split announcement, a rally at <laughs> earnings itself we'll see but if you look at the chart I mean we've got a, I think at least a couple more weeks before this bottom sets in or before we even hit a bottom the quickest really time between the pinches was this time and that was one two three four five six seven eight nine nine weeks from the peak to the the bottom before it rallied so we're at you could count this one one two three four five six six so Three weeks, give or take, and I'm kind of sticking to that. I think our bottom price range still could be um, that kind of like 104, 104 area, and that we might not see that for a few weeks. So in the meantime, we might get some bounce and consolidation the next, I don't know, six trading days or so, and just see how high it bounces. If we do start to break through resistances and it's more than a bounce, you know, 150 or so, 145, uh, I'll be pretty surprised. But especially if there's not news on it. So yeah, I'm expecting some some kind of small bounce consolidation, then probably more downside. I'll just try and uh, not look at my cover call. Um, I'll be rolling that one if it's if I can't close it today or tomorrow or Thursday, I guess or without a loss our put credit spread on spy here it is up 23 percent tesla put credit spreads also up our vix put is not up volatility has not come down even though spies leveled out and climbing that's okay rover actually tried to close that today so is up a little bit run is up gme is up one and a quarter percent volume today looks like it will be a little bit better than it was the last few days yesterday was was more volume because that was just such a big dropping day uh but other than yesterday today's volume looks like it'll be better than other than the other days which is good on a on a green day showing there's buying support buying pressure and we really saw a lot of that uh at close yesterday with that big hourly green candle so bull flag bullish macd green over the nine we're ready for at least a, a short-term rally, I'd say. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on Discord. Peace out.